This video is to show you how to use Google Docs to make an MLA style outline. So the first thing you do is that you go into Google Drive, you create a new Google Docs, and when it appears, you want to give it a title first thing. So you want to click up here where it says Untitled Document, and you want to give it the, 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 uh, the title. I'm going to call it Essay 1 Outline, and then I'm going to put my name after that. So you should do the same thing when you make your Essay 1 Outline. All right, so now we're ready to go. Now, in order to make an MLA-style document, you should first create a header. That means that you're going to have your family name and a page number up here in the top right corner. Now, the way you can do that is to go to the Insert menu. And in the Insert menu, you can go all the way down here and you can select Header. This will create uh, or make the header space visible. And then you can uh, put things over on the right by changing the alignment to right align. You'll want to type your family name plus a space, and then you're going to go back to the insert menu, and you're going to choose a page number. So we're going to choose a page number that's going to be at the top right, and we want it to appear from page one. So just select that, and now we have a page number. And that's really it. For the, uh, for the header. In order to get out of the header, you just click anywhere in the main page area, and now you're back. Next, we have the top left information. The top left information will, of course, be your full name. Uh, then we will have uh, the assignment. Now, normally, according to MLA, this is the teacher's name. Uh, but in my class, I'm asking you to make it the, uh, the name of the assignment. So this will be uh, essay uh, number one outline. Uh, you could call it full outline here. It doesn't matter. Uh, then we want the name of the class. This would be writing workshop. If you want to make writing workshop section one, you can do that. And then the date. Let's say, for example, you're doing this on Sunday. So that would be 24 May 2015. So if you type it this way with a, uh, with a uh, name of the date or the number for the date first, you don't need a comma. However, if you type the month first and say May 24, you would need a comma and then 2015. Either way is okay. So we're going to hit enter again and we're going to make the title. So essay uh, number one outline. And if you want, you can add the, uh, the basic idea that you have or any title that you want. Uh, for example, My Lazy Sister. Then you want to hit Enter again so that you can continue being left aligned in the next line. And then go back, select that title, and you'll want to make that center aligned. And there you go. Now, when you're writing a regular essay, you want to keep things double-spaced. But when you are writing an outline, single space is just fine. As a matter of fact, I think single space is better because you want your outline to be compact. So you want to change the line spacing from double down to single, in case it's double already. And now we're ready to go. So if you remember, uh, the, the way of doing it is uh, to start with Roman numerals and then capital letters, and then Arabic numbers, and then the lowercase letters. So that's going to be the progression here. Uh, however, uh, we want to make it so that when you type more than one line, uh, it wraps around in the correct way. Uh, so I'm just going to type some, uh, some junk characters here. And you can see that the second line wraps around and it comes at back to the beginning of that line. I don't want it to do that. I want it to line up this way. So the way to uh, make this happen is to go into the ruler and in the ruler change the whole left indent. That's the triangle button on the bottom. Change the whole left indent to half an inch first. Then 
move the first line indent. That's the, uh, the block or the horizontal line at the top. Move that back to the zero position, and now you have that basic setting. So that's all you have to do with the ruler. Once you set this, then everything else will follow that and maintain the same style. Of course, here I'm going to type my, uh, my essay introduction. So there we go. And then I'm going to have A, capital A, period, tab. And I'm going to give uh, some details about what my introduction techniques, techniques are going to be. Now, we haven't studied that yet, so you may not uh, know what to do, but let's just say you're going to use a short story. Uh, maybe give some sort of anecdote that is related to your subject, and in my case, that would be my lazy sister. And so I might, uh, I might use an idea, for example, that uh, I didn't use in the main body of my essay, maybe something that gives a demonstration of how my sister is lazy. Uh, my sister isn't really lazy, I'm just making this up. Uh, so let me just make up a story here and say, uh, when uh, we visited uh, a hotel in Los Angeles, uh, uh, she uh, completely uh, destroyed her room. Okay, so uh, again, that's a little bit... <laughs> A little bit extreme, perhaps, but there we go. All right, so uh, that's an example of what you might write in your introduction. Give some kind of story, an interesting fact, a statistic, uh, disagree with somebody, uh, give a famous quote, something like that. But you'll notice that A has to be uh, out from one. It has to be indented in. Now, you do not do that using the tab. Do not press the tab key in there, even if it does work. You want to get used to using the uh, increase indent. So if you click on that, then that'll work just beautifully. The left tab might work, but it's unreliable. So I, I'd rather that you, you not use that if there's a, if there's a possibility. So B, uh, you might want to type that you're going to transition uh, from the story or whatever technique that you used and go into the thesis statement. Uh, so I'm going to just type um, uh, this uh, is uh, maybe um, uh, representative of her uh, living style. And then for the last part here, I'm going to just type uh, uh, the thesis statement, which is, uh, my sister is extremely lazy. Once again, she's not. She's actually very hardworking, but I'm just pretending here. Okay, so now I want to go back to this stage right here. And uh, the way that I can do that, there's a couple ways. You could hit backspace, and that'll get you back there. But if you do that, you'll note that you lose the setting here. So you don't want to do that. You want to instead uh, keep this ruler setting by using these buttons here. And this time we're going to decrease the indent. So go back that way, and now you can see that our ruler settings are maintained. So we're going to type the Roman numeral 2, and this is going to be your first body paragraph. So this is where you put your topic sentence. Um, if you want to type topic sentence, uh, you can do that. You don't have to. You can just start by saying what the topic sentence is. Uh, so I might begin with something that is more connected to, uh, to what is in my introduction. So I would probably start out with, um, she, uh, 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 she uh, never uh, cleans uh, her uh, messes uh, in the house. Okay, now I'm going to want to put my uh, first example. So I'm going to want to indent. So we're going to go over here, increase the indent. And I'm going to type A and period and tab, and now I'm going to give my major supporting detail, uh, and this is where I introduce one of the examples. Uh, so maybe one of the examples is that uh, her bedroom uh, is a disaster area. Uh, then I'm going to want to put the minor supporting detail. So I hit enter again, I indent again, put the number one, and here's where I give some of the uh, some of the uh, minor supporting details, some of the very specific things. Uh, and again, if you can, 
you want to make this a single event. Um, so in this case, I might think, all right, uh, maybe I, uh, I saw her room a few months ago and I was horrified by it. So uh, maybe, uh, let's say, a month and a half ago, uh, I, uh, let's see, I uh, had to uh, go into her room in order to get something. And you'll notice that because I've been using the uh, increase and decrease indents, now the text is lining up nicely on the second line. So my second point will be, um, uh, let's see, there uh, was, uh, let's see, uh, rotting uh, food on the tables, uh, uh, dirty uh, wrappers uh, all over the floor and undone laundry uh, everywhere. There we go. Whoops. Everywhere. Okay, maybe a third point will be um, <laughs> the smell was horrific. Okay, well, just whatever. I'm just typing in some details here so you get an idea. Um, all right, so that is the first example, and then I would just hit the decrease indent to make B for the second example, and I would say something maybe about uh, she never cleans the kitchen even though it's her responsibility. Uh, cleans the kitchen even though etc etc etc. I'm not going to type any of this anymore. I'm just going to show you how to uh, work it from here, but again uh, we would increase the indent number one and we would put uh, details and more details uh, then number two, more and more details. Uh, and number three, how about a few more details? Okay, uh, let's see. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, now, if you want, you can just repeat the process for the, uh, for the next uh, body paragraph, or you could do this. You could uh, select the entire first paragraph you could copy it. I'm doing a Command C or Control C. Then you could go to the space for the next paragraph and you could paste. And all you have to do is change the numbers for the, the Roman numeral, change the topic sentence. Maybe uh, her car is a terrible mess. Uh, and then just uh, uh, you know, continue to replace what you have here, just erase the old ones and put in the new ones. Uh, and then you could do the same thing for the fourth. Go over here. And this would be number four. And this would be the last topic sentence. And then finally, once you get here, uh, this is where you might want to, and let me bring this up here so we can see it better. No, nope, I can't do that. All right. Uh, bring, decrease the indent, and then you're ready to type your conclusion. Uh, your conclusion is not required for the first draft of essay number one, so you can just leave that as conclusion and not go from there. But basically, this is how you do it. You could either uh, do what I did for this first body paragraph and just repeat that, or you could copy and paste it and then replace the text, but either way, that's how you would create the format for an entire essay outline. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, so uh, if any of this was confusing to you, just go back and view that part. If you have any questions, just send me an email.